Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your July monthly reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment on the channel. Uh, let me see. Happy, I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday, 4th of July. Those that, you know, celebrate that and everything like that. Hope everybody was well and safe and enjoyed it. If you traveled, I hope you guys traveled and made it to and from safe and sound. Um, there was a full moon that happened in the sign of Capricorn. Closing out cycles, guys. So some of you guys could have been closing out some situations, some cycles. Deciding to change your hair, cut your hair, or, you know, to go to a new company or something of that nature. Could have been anything like that for some of you guys. All right, but let's see what the messages are for my Scorpios here for July. Sorry for the delay in your reading. I was, you know, I had a little cold allergies. There was a lot going on with me. Uh, but let's see. If you need anything from me, my name is Leash, by the way. I'm sorry, I don't think I said that. If you need anything from me, you can look at the description box down below. You can find my email if you need a personal reading, life coaching, spiritual bath. Uh, Wednesday, I will be joining uh, my spiritual sister. Oh Lord, what? Spiritual sister on evolving spirit wellness. Um, the information is in the. I it might be down. I think I link it down below. But if not, it should be on like the community section. Um, so you guys, if you're interested in that, you could definitely chime in and join on that on Wednesday this week. Uh, but other than that, let's see. Let's see what the messages are. We have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. And we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. All right. So you guys could be dealing with either or, or maybe someone that you're awaiting communication from. Could be a Gemini, could be an Aries. Okay. You could be... Uh, having a testy conversation with a parent okay or you could be having a testy conversation with your child if you are the parent okay you should could be trying to also gain some type of clarity or information about something or what have you i feel like that information is coming all right so the answers you're needing for that will be um approaching soon um your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn at the bottom of the deck so you guys could be dealing with the aries gemini or a capricorn okay um, all these cards just fell, guys, so give me a second. Alright, let's see. Messages here. So that was the Moonology moon Oracle. This is going to be the Divine Abundance deck. I don't know why I can't speak right now. Some of you guys could be nervous about communicating with somebody or discussing something with somebody. Alright. Some could have you like a little jittery as well, too. Okay. Let's see. Messages for Scorpios. All right. Let's see. We have detachment. Yeah. Closing out something here. We have with detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. So, you know, when you let go of something, you know, try to disassociate it with it, you will start to feel fulfilled. And if it's something that's definitely not meant to be in your life you will also start to feel like just better about yourself for whatever particular reason here and it's because whatever you were associated with is you know something that you needed to detach from basically so some of you guys could be letting go of a relationship a partnership a job um anything of that nature yeah it could be also a person here too you could be finally healing from a loss okay so some of you guys could have lost someone okay this person could have been an aries a gemini or a capricorn whether this was in the 3d or the 5d take it how it resonates but we have grief here all right it says tears are what happens when the heart melts all right, it was in the reverse as well, though. So some of you guys could be freezing your heart up. You guys could be saying that, you know, you're never going to love again. You're never going to be with anybody again. You're never going to trust again or something of this nature here. But essentially, you could just be creating some type of blockage here. Or you could be putting off dating for some of you guys because you're just simply not interested in it. Some of you guys could be just detaching from the idea of being in a commitment or offer, offering something uh traditional to someone okay so some of you guys may be in that energy all right but we also have loss here as well we have sometimes you learn true offerings through loss you make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the eagle's plan all right so we have loss here as well so again you guys could have lost something here whether it was a person a place or a thing maybe this was something that you didn't appreciate okay so maybe you guys you know 
it could be a car for instance so some of you guys just you know chose to not make your car payments or whatever the case may be and maybe they finally came and repoed your car right and that would be a grieving moment because you were so used to being able to hop skip and jump when you want it and now you know that has been altered here that is essentially a form of a loss uh because you didn't appreciate it here you kind of neglected the responsibility of you know making your payments or if you weren't able to communicating or whatever the case may be right take it how it resonates it could be a car it could be a home it could be a relationship it could be a job uh whatever have you but whatever's going on here the answers that you're looking for or needing will be provided to you here uh briefly is kind of what i'm getting here as well i feel like whatever you guys have grieved or detached from right or disassociated with I feel like it was all for a good reason and eventually you know you will still you will start to see how this was a good thing for you okay is what I'm pretty much what I'm getting here so let's see what the messages are for my Libras oh, I'm sorry not Libras Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and or Venus all right Some of you guys could be detaching from a fire sign or a meat in a fire sign, or you could have fire placements in your chart with the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpios for July. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Messages for Scorpios. Ooh, we have the Four of Pentacles coming up in the reverse here. So again, another indication of detachment, letting go, something being removed. Four of Pentacles in the reverse here. At the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands here. And the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. So some of you guys are letting go of a relationship, right? Some of you guys are letting go of the guilt. Some of you guys are letting go of the control. <coughs> I coughed on that moment there and the birds started going crazy. So some of you guys are just letting go of control, okay? Letting go of needing to, you know... I don't know. I just feel like someone that's needing to know everything. What's going on? How it's being done? Where it's being done at? Like, you know, just every single details. And I understand that some things are, you know, slightly important to know, right? If you're trying to go somewhere, you need an address. But essentially, you don't need to know everything. Um, who's going to be wearing what? Who's going to be doing what? If you didn't get a, spe a specific email saying that you were doing X, Y, and Z, then stop worrying yourself about it. So some of the guys could be doing that. Uh, but I definitely just feel like a sense of letting go of control, letting go of needing to know, letting go of whatever is, you know, in your eyes is unwarranted, right? Whether this is you or someone's letting go of you, right? Take it how it resonates, right? Yeah, we have judgment here. Letting go of the guilt here. Um, this could be someone that wants to have another chance with you as well, too. Someone is letting go of the idea of it. Or someone could be not wanting another chance with you as well, too. A page of swords here. Or this could be you, you know? But I do feel good things off of this judgment card, though. I feel like this is you guys releasing resentment. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Cups. This is the Light Sears Tarot deck, by the way. We have the King of Cups. <laughs> we have the Emperor. Ooh, okay. So this could be you guys also detaching from one relationship and, you know, finally putting closure to that situation, okay? Finally letting go of that person, Queen of Wands again. A Will of Fortune and Queen of Wands could be someone that you're destined to meet as well, too. Could be a spiritualist or something like that here with the candles and the black cat there. Don't necessarily have to be, okay? Could be someone that you guys are meeting. Okay, yeah, Six of Swords, this could be spiritually divine or divinely guided or divinely led or like a divine connect. Yeah, connection here. All right, so you could be meeting a fire sign, okay, a Queen of Wands necessary or could be a King or Queen of Wands, don't necessarily matter. Yeah, Temperance, definitely someone that your angels wanted you guys to connect with and meet, okay. So this could be like a spiritualist, this could be 
just anything, right? This could this is Archangel Michael, so this is someone that could you know assist you guys with being balanced here, but uh, or you know creating some inspiration back into you guys. But the justice is here too. This could be someone that you know your angels is wanting you to connect with, um, maybe on a physical level as well too. For some of you guys, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But we have the Temperance, the Ace of Wands, and the Justice. Some of you guys could have been praying and hoping and wishing for some type of passion or recreation here. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Damn. Some of you guys could be waiting for someone that you can, you know, build with, okay, and actually have a family with. Um, someone that you could be deeply in love with equally here. You see each other equally here. The King and Queen of Cups are side by side. So it's like with the moon card here and the ten of cups, like you guys are not going to see this connection coming. You're not going to see this person, you know, this this happening here. The universe, I'm hearing like the universe is setting you up. It's a setup. The four of pentacles here. This is someone that they're going to allow you guys to meet that you guys are going to, you know, if you were stuck on someone, I feel like you ain't going to be stuck on them for very long here. Okay, because I feel like you're going to meet someone that's going to, you know, be very interesting to you guys. <laughs> this Queen of Wands keep coming up here. I split the deck to shuffle again. The Queen of Wands in the moon. So it could be a, a, a fire sign with Pisces wa water. Okay. I was going to say a Leo. Could be. Damn. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Leo for some of you guys. This person could be online or could get a lot of recognition or attention. Or you could. Yeah. We have the two of wa three of Wands. Excuse me here. We have the Page of Wands and the Sun. Yeah. Someone, this is like the fool energy, right? Oh, wow, there's three cards here the five of coins and the sun. So, this is someone that's gonna, you know, bring excitement into your life here, you know, in all types of ways. Is kind of what I'm getting, what I'm seeing here. For some of you guys, you've been like really waiting on this type of energy to come in or this type of person to connect with here. For some of you guys, you've just been not. Not thinking that you're going to ever get this or something like that here with the five of pentacles here. This also could be a new opportunity here for work or something like that. That's going to take place for some of you guys here. The five of pentacles could be make you know, some type of way you guys are feeling. Yeah, this, yeah, the six of wands and the ace of swords. Mm, that's great energy here. Or you guys are going to get some type of clue or hint or idea about something here. And it's going to be a, a blessing here. It's going to be something that's going to be good. Is what I'm getting here. So, okay. I got what I'm getting here is the grief and the losses. Maybe you guys are letting go of old habits, old ways of being, right? This could also be a person or energies that you used to, you know, coincide with, right? Because there's detachment here. So, you got to be detached from something. You're detaching from a person, old habits, old ways, old, old beliefs possibly for some of, some of my Scorpios out there as well too. And now you're getting in the energy of, I'm getting like an energy of gratitude, an energy of knowing and like believing in something here. Have Just having hope essentially, right? Just having hope and letting go, like I said, the four pentacles of the control issue. Maybe allowing God or spirit or whatever you pray to, right? Hopefully if it's to, you know, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides. If you're here watching tarot, then I'm, you damn sure got to be praying to, you know, your angels here. Uh, yeah, for, you know, money, abundance, a family for some of you guys, 10 of pentacles here, four of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. This could be some of you guys changing your beliefs about finances as well, too. And I see that changing around for you guys. Yeah. The four of cups, this could also be, you know, guys wanting to invest, I was going to say invest in somebody, seven of pentacles, wanting to build a family with someone that's, you know, that you can see yourself growing with, right? You see this person, he's looking at this. It's like a pinnacle plant, right? You see he's in a nursery or a garden or whatever like that. You see the plant over there is growing, it's flourishing. There's another flower pot here that is growing and flourishing here. And then you got your pinnacles there that is growing and flourishing, right? So if someone wants to grow and flourish with somebody. What's the judgment? All right, we got quite a bit here. We got the Six of Cups. On one side, the Six of Cups there. On the other side, we have the Knight of Wands. And then you have these three here. 
which is the devil, the chariot, and the page of cups. Damn, someone that you can be in love with like crazy. Again, king and queen of cups, someone that you want to be dangerously in love with. Like someone that only got eyes for you, only has emotions for you, but also can, you know, have great sex as well too. Like, I mean, I got to say it, the knight of wands, the page of cups here. I mean, someone that knows how to get it wet, keep it wet, and like, you know, be in there is what I'm seeing here. You know what I'm saying? Again, eight of wands, like they gonna give it to you any and every kind of way. This is someone that can also, you know, meet you on different levels. Look at the eight of wands there. There's different types of wands there, right? So this is someone that can meet you on your level in different ways and in, in all aspects, right? Sexually, mentally, emotionally, uh physically. Uh, attractive as well too to some degree some aspect there's some type of attraction there with this person here yeah page of wands it makes you desire this person this person is desirable or they feel like this about you let's try this again here what's the judgment here for scorpios What's the judgment for Scorpios, please, and thank you? The Three of Cups. You can meet this person in public here. And damn, the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. Y'all just see me shuffle, split the deck and everything. Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Mm. It's like, stop looking for it. Is it going to happen organically when it's meant to happen? Okay. This connection, this meeting, this whatever, it's going to happen when it's meant to happen. All right. Yeah. Stop stressing over something. It's like you cannot, you cannot determine how fast the pot of water is going to heat up and start to boil. Right. You cannot determine if today's going to be the day you win the lottery. You cannot determine. Right. You can't really determine that. This is something that just coincidentally coincidentally just happens right you can't determine if you're going to go into a casino with five hundred dollars and leave out with twenty thousand dollars right you cannot determine that this is something that just automatically genuinely happens when the universe sees that you are ready for it. judgment judgment in the three of cups when you're genuinely ready for this uh manifestation pretty much to come in is when it's going to happen here Stop stop looking for it. And then also stop looking for what's wrong in everybody, right? Give people a chance. Give people an opportunity here. Right? I feel like someone, you know, says something like, I like caviar. And just because you hate the idea of caviar, it's like, they're not my person. I'm out. It's like, how are you going to find somebody if you don't give anybody a chance? <laughs> right? It's okay. You're allowed to have differences. You're allowed to have different likes and things like that. It's okay. We have, yeah, the high priest is in the three of wands. Spirit's like, stop looking for it. We're going to bring it to you when we're ready to bring it to you. Queen of Cups here, three of wands, and the high priest is here. This person could be, um, like I said, spiritual. And you may be spiritual as well, too. Yeah, the five of pentacles here. And eight of cups or spirit's going to, you know, direct you or lead you to this wealth here when it's time. And I feel like when it's time to do something, you got to be discreet about it, too. Everything is not for everybody because the high priestess doesn't, you know, it's like someone doesn't show their hand, right? You don't show you what you're in your right hand. You don't tell everybody your plan here. If you get ready to create a new whatever, I don't care what the product is, you're not telling everybody, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three of pentacles. This person is either spirit is still working on this person here or still tweaking this person or you're going to meet this person through some type of some type of connection. It's like some type of third party meeting here is when you're going to or how you're going to meet this person. Yeah, the Knight of Wands I'm telling you. You're going to get what you're asking for. Exactly. Someone that can, you know, good in bed, someone that is good with, you know, maybe working and connecting, connecting with other people, connecting emotionally, physically, you know, someone that's, you know, stable in some type of way here. I do see that. Someone that you can invest and grow with. Right. Seven of Cups. You don't know who it is going to be. It's just going to be with spirit, spirits hooking you up. I'm here in Master P. I got the hookup. Yeah, Four of Cups. You just wait on it. You're not going to know when it's going to happen. Uh, this Aries here, so you could have someone from your past that you were dealing with or something like that here. We got the world, the five of wands, 
the King of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys, you could you could have like an a ex or something like that that's communicating with you guys here. Don't necessarily have to be an Aries. It could be the Aries energy came out initially. But this also could be an Emperor, right? This King of Cups, Queen of Cups could be like an Emperor or Empress, whatever, too. This person, this Emperor, I mean, it's the Emperor. I mean, Emperor to Empress, this person embodies every energy. Right, so someone could still need to grow a little bit here. We have the seven of wands, but again, I do feel the energy of someone that you connected with in the past here. Yeah, we have the tower and we have the death. So if you were feeling lonely, right, and wanting attention, I feel like dash is about to be over. You're about to have a lot of attention, okay? A lot of people interested in you. Or this person, because I don't really see a lot of people here. I do see some two people, right? And you. This could be, um, like I said, Scorpio, you're not going to see this tower coming in, okay? You're not going to see this tower happening. So we got Pisces energy. We have Gemini energy. We have Aries energy. We have Leo energy. Look, the Two of Cups is flipping over, I'm telling you. You're not going to see this happening, man. You could meet this person through work, or you could meet this person at work, through work. It could be a contractor coming into your building. I, I don't know. But I do see something shocking here. Nine of Pentacles. You could be single, independent here. Stable. This person is single, independent. Stable. We have the Six of Cups. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the Chariot. Devil. Chariot. Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you. And the Six of Wands again. So... Six of Wands, Six of Swords, okay, Six of Cups. This person is spiritually gifted, okay, in some type of way here. This person knows how to put the reins on the devil is what I'm seeing too here. Yeah, look, Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you, every six is here. Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Six of Swords. And the Six of Cups. I've never had that. The Chariot. So you could meet this person through transporting or networking or, you know, on your way to something here like that. I don't know. But you're going to be quickly obsessed with this person. Quickly infatuated with this person. I do see sexual energy here. Okay, between these two people. All right. I'm telling you. And it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. The Knight of Wands here. And if it's a fire sign in particular, it's going to be good, especially a Leo. And the sun card here is here. The sun card is here. Leo energy is here. Oh, there's another card that's flipped over. Okay. Two of Swords. Hmm. All right. So this person may not fully be single, guys, but I feel like. Mm, six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and Six of Wands. Now look, all three of these are at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Swords. Alright, so this person... I don't know if this is like someone that's meant to... I don't know if you're actually meant to be physical with this person, but I do see there is sexual attraction here, for sure. Sexual attraction. So Scorpio, you may not be fully single, or this person may not be fully single... But, I mean, we got the Six of Wands here twice, y'all. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords? You may be unsure if you should be sexual with this person. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Damn, and here's the Empress showing up now. So, yeah, this is your match. This is someone that you're going to vibe with, you're going to match with, Okay. Okay, like again, what I was getting with the Eight of Wands, on every level, I feel like intellectual, sexually, mentally, emotionally, I feel like this person is going to do it for you. Someone could be leaving somebody to go towards this person. I mean, if someone is dealing with somebody, or someone may stop talking to somebody to deal with this person or something like that or vice versa take it how it resonates you you know i don't know but i feel like if you're going to a spiritualist or a counselor or therapy like that i feel like this therapist may have feelings for you 
Um, we have the Ten of Wands on the Page of Wands here. Yes, yeah, someone's going to... If you was feeling burdened and, like, just unbothered, I feel like you get ready to get bothered. Yeah, the Four, the four of Wands. <laughs> Some of you guys could be moving. Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, excuse me. And with the Empress really close by and this Ace of Cups, this person may... Yeah, the Page of Wands, man. You're going to get pregnant here. Some of you guys are going to get pregnant with a, a Earth sign boy or a Fire sign boy, okay? What is the Ten of Wands on this Page of Wands here? Moving can be stressful too, but I feel like once you get in your new place and get settled, you're going to be happy. You're going to like the home. You're going to like the area as well too. Um... Did something flip over? Yeah. The Seven of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of going. It's a lot going on here, but I do feel like you're gonna be happy. Yeah, the Strength card, the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. I am getting over a slight cold and allergy, so forgive me. We do have the strength, the six of wands, six of pentacles, and the four of wands here. Again, you're going to like your home, you know, yeah, page of pentacles. You're going to like it. This could, you could be also paying like a hundred to $400 more for the property that you're going towards, but you feel like it's worth it. Or if you're moving from something like, that was more money you're going to something that's going to save you four hundred dollars six hundred dollars a month and you're really happy about that okay and that's one of another reasons why you know you're growing to like it and love it okay so that's what i do see all right what's the five of pentacles here for scorpios King of Pentacles, yeah. You're going to go from the five to, I'm telling you, you're still bullet at least going to grow here. It's going to increase here with the seven of Pentacles. And the ten of Pentacles is here. So you could be doing this independently on your own. Yep, four cups. Oh, I'm sorry, five of cups. Yeah, ace of Pentacles here. Mm-hmm. The Hierophant, the Hermit, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords. So it looks good, guys. If you're waiting for some type of offer to come in here or communication about something here, I don't know what it is. Yeah, the Sun card when I split the deck, Sun, Sun. So some of you guys definitely having a boy, too, for sure. Some of you guys, you need to go into the Sun for healing. If you guys did some type of positive uh, uh, offering here to your angels, I feel like it was received and it was successful here. The temperance here, yeah, Archangel Michael, Megatron, or I think Az Ezekiel. I could be wrong with that one, but I feel like they took it up and your offering was received. Your prayers was heard, basically. And I feel like whatever you pray for and ask for, you're going to get it. The sun card is here. With the magician, <clears throat> the moon, the world, and the six of wands, you're going to get it. You're going to get whatever it is that you ask for. Okay? And it's going to be spirit surprising, you guys. Yeah, the temperance and the three of swords, the lovers. So some of you guys, you pray for somebody that would never break your heart, that would love you, that would value you, that would treat you right. Yeah, judgment here. For some of you guys, it's going to be like unbelievable that this is really coming in for you guys. Yeah, it is coming in. Right, for some of y'all, it could already be here. Yeah, look at this here at the bottom of this deck here. We got a, a whole nother deck here. We have the Five of Cups again in the chariot. And you see, this guy's praying. You know what I'm saying? He's not even going to, he's not even seeing this happen coming in. So, again, you could have already prayed for it, and behind him is the Queen of Wands. So, for some of you guys, it's a fire sign that's coming in. Okay, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're going to be meeting here. It's going to happen unexpectedly. It's what I'm picking up here. And I'm telling you guys, I see the attraction. I see the desire. I see it. So, it looks good. I mean, Lord. <laughs> Lord have mercy. 
Alright, some of you guys could very well get pregnant too, so I'm just saying, be aware. Alright, but this is a spiritual hookup. You're not going to see this. This is a hookup. Okay, but a good hookup is what I'm seeing. Yeah, someone is definitely a star seed, whether it's you or this person that you're about to encounter. Star seed, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. Okay, and let me tell you guys, this person, whoever this is, they have a lot of loving light. Okay, uh, in every way. Okay, every way. They in love with, with God or the universe or whatever they believe in. And they also, um, I'm telling you, they know how to make it squirt, rain, shoot, overflow. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm tripping, but I'm not tripping. Like, this person knows what they're doing, okay? All right, we got guidance here. You are not alone. You are guided by the masters and the teachers of the highest realms. We also have inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So again, the two of swords here is an indication of, you know, being skeptical, right? Being afraid to, you know, welcome this love, look at this love, view this as, you know, a possibility for you. So for some of you guys that will see past that, you right, you're you're in for a treat, and for others of you that can't see past that, you're gonna miss a treat. Plain and simple is what I'm getting here. This is a spiritual hookup. I I mean I don't know how much clearer I need to make it. So whatever you've been praying for, you've been praying for somebody that's swinging and and respectful and well mannered and work and responsible and all that good stuff. Have their own place, own car, you know, shit like that. Then this is what you're about to get. Religious factors. There could be a difference here in religious factors. This person could be of another culture other than which you may be. Uh, we have your love life is influenced by your religious upbringings and spiritual path. So again, this person may be very heavy into spirituality. Okay, they could be, you know, whatever they do. Um, and you may not, right? Or vice versa. Okay, so that could be the religious factors there. It could be like something like that where you like, you know... I'm not really sure if I'm into this or what have you, but whatever. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I can't make it up. I felt the energy here. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So if you feel in your heart that you are guided to return to the past person, then by all means, make that choice for yourself. If you feel like you are guided to connect with this new person that you guys are going to run into, then, um, again, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So make the effort. So again, this is, you know, releasing the fear of the unknown basically is what I'm getting here. This could be something that you may not have ever done before. So this could be like, you know, you could be Asian and the other person could be African American or, you know, it could be any kind of person of any type of ethnic ethnicity background, right? That's different than yours. Um, and that could be a little hesitating you, right? Because you're like worried about the wrong things. Like, well, what if we don't connect? What if we don't know? What if you do connect? And it's the greatest thing ever. Three, three, three on a clock, right? Um, so again, you're, whatever you pray for, whatever you ask for, right? This is what spirit is bringing into you guys. Now, I don't know whether it's the same relationship, you know, same sex relationship. I don't know. Did you ask for uh, opposite sex? When you ask for this perfect partner, um, well, if you didn't, then it could be, right? It could it could be because you, you didn't put clarity on that. So the universe is, uh, you know, syncing you up with someone that's on your vibration, that's on your wavelength, okay? Uh, regardless of the sex, right, is what you asked for. But you weren't, you left out that detail. So if that's important to you, then you, you some of you guys are going to miss it, right? You're going to miss this, right? And other you guys is not going to really worry about you know that then you, you may not miss it okay so i don't know i'm kind of getting something like that here let's move on too much time on that let's get y'all a crystal crystals for my scorpios all right let's see watermelon tourmaline stress reduction de-stress your mind body and schedule as you need to rest recharge and revive so some of you guys you are just doing too much out here you need to take a moment <laughs> you need to take a moment, okay? So maybe you need to take a like if you have vacation days, utilize them. That's what you're having for. 
Uh, if you need to, you know, work a half a day, work a half a day, right? So there's something like that that's going on here that you need to, you know, tone down a little bit is kind of what I'm getting here. Let's go here. Uh, this is the angel oracle deck. We have trust at the bottom of the deck. So trust your angels, okay? They're giving you exactly what you asked for. And some of you guys may be like, well, this ain't what I prayed for. Yeah, it is. Think back really good and really hard about what you asked for within the next few weeks. I'm telling you guys, some of it, some for some of you guys is already here. For some of you guys, this energy is going to be happening in the next few weeks. All right, so it could be here, but this energy could start to communication could start to pick up in the next few weeks uh something like that could happen here or this encounter could happen within the next few weeks take it how it resonates i don't know where you're at on your timeline we have be assertive so be very clear you know don't leave anybody confused if you're interested in them um make it very clear that you are right we have helpful people so you guys may be you know talking to a friend or something like that that about this person there's something better. So again, you have the reconciliation or you have uh, make the effort. Okay, so you can make the effort and reconcile with someone or you can make the effort and get to know someone new. This is what I'm getting here pretty much. Take it how it resonates. Up confirmation with the phone going off. Okay, so we have a Sagi at the bottom of the deck. So again, the fire sign did show up. It could be, oh, look, we got one knee. So some of you guys, it very well could be a Sag. We do have Sag energy here. We have Pisces energy. We have Cancer energy. We have Leo energy. We have you here, Scorpio. Um, we have Cancer energy here. We have Gemini. We have Aries. Uh, we have Capricorn that showed up as well, too. We also have... Um, I think I did say Sash. We have Taurus energies here as well. So we do have pretty much like every Zodiac sign here. So it could really be anybody, guys. Anybody. All right. So you have a choice. So Spirit is giving you a choice. Um, so, yeah. Um, and with the World card here in the upright. So I can tell you for sure that if you go back to the past, it may be some changes here. But ultimately, the, will, the World card is here and it's not in the re it's not in their reverse here so this person has made some changes okay but i feel like they could be wanting to reconnect with you for the wrong reasons so just keep that in mind too and essentially you you will be repeating a cycle as well too so take it how it resonates so you know but who am i what am i what do i know i'm just a you know a spiritualist a little medium here just reading tarot for you guys interpreting the energy for you guys we have taurus here as well taurus is in the reverse so you may not be giving that taurus a chance here i just said taurus energy anything else here for scorpios wow look at that wow 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 we have cancer here showing up for you guys so the cancer's on the side so you're kind of iffy about a cancer you may be, you know, telling this cancer you can't travel to them, you can't really see them, or this could be, you know, them doing this to you because someone is a past life love toxic here, it's unhealthy. We do have Aquarius energy that's showing up for you guys as well too. Anything else? We have, whoa, we have quite a few. We have breakup that's falling out. We have I don't give a fuck, so you may not give a fuck. We also have weird as fuck, so you might think this person is strange and weird, and that's why you're not fucking with them, don't sleep with. So this could be the past person that you're not really vibing with, you're not trying to deal with, this Taurus, this Cancer, this Aries, whatever. We do have the light side here, so someone is trying to go towards the light, turn a new leaf. Anything else here for my Scorpios before we go? All right. Uh, we have three of a kind. It is in the reverse here, so someone just doesn't do the third party stuff. And we have I cry over you, and I feel like this is what you don't give a fuck about. This could be something that happened last week, okay, or the week before, or in the up and coming weeks. Here we have light side showing up again. We have I'm rich bitch, so I don't really know. We have no more chances though for somebody, whether this is you or them. Very soon you could be making this decision here, or very soon you could be, you know acknowledging this to this person here whatever take it how it resonates um or very soon this could be happening to you uh we have text mail very soon you could be texting somebody or getting text from somebody i'm not really sure here but let's see anything else for scorpios and we can really close this on out all right you could be a star c if i didn't say that or not um i think i did but i'm saying it now 
Oh, we have I slept with your friend. We have one knee. So see, I'm saying someone better here. One knee, someone is stable that is, you know, looking for what you're looking for. This person may like to drink a little bit or you might go out for drinks with this person and you're going to realize you found the one or something like that here. You could be out drinking and you meet this person. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, we got do you want me. And I'm telling you here that, yeah, someone wants you, baby. Somebody wants you. At the On the floor here we have I slept with your friend that fell off the deck. So this could be the reason for the breakup. This could be information you could be finding out here. Or you found out. Take it how it resonates. Let's go to the hidden truth real quick. What's going on with y'all cars flying off the table here, Squirps? Let me grab that real quick. Yeah, you broke my heart. So you feel like this or someone feels like this about you, Scorpios? <sighs> and so why would you go back to somebody like that anyway? I would do it all again. So see this person, again, repeating the cycle, man, repeating the cycle. Or this could be you guys saying that, you know, you would make this choice to leave or whatever. Someone says that they would do it all over again. Take it how it resonates. I can't get enough of you, okay? So this person could be, you know, obsessed with you, or this could be the new person that you're obsessed with. Take it how it resonates. Someone could be from New York, or live near New York. Do I still have a chance? Yeah, it's like, it's like what? No, grow the fuck up. I save your texts and messages. So this could be also someone that too maybe didn't really see you. Uh, see your worth at the time, right? And this person, you know, may have messed up and went off, but it's like it's their loss now because they didn't see you. And maybe now you're going to meet someone that's going to see you for who you are and value you. Take it how it resonates. Um, but you're going to meet someone that you could be yourself with, or maybe you feel like you could be this with that person, or maybe this person feel like this about you. I don't know what side of the track you're on. Whose loss is it anyway? Tell me down in the comments. Is it, is it their loss, Scorpios, or is it your loss? Uh, let's see. Your intellect arouses me, so uh, there is. Uh, I'm telling you, you're going to meet someone that's going to check all your boxes, basically. I still have feelings for you, so someone's going to need to make a choice. And I already made that very clear here. I feel like Spirit is giving us repetitive messages here now. So it's like, are you going to re reconcile with the new, or are you going to make the effort and get to know someone new? Take it how it resonates. So, new or old here, Scorpios. Uh, whose loss is it anyway? I don't know what the hell I'm going to title it, but you'll see it when you see it. Uh, again, I'm Leash. It's been a pleasure to do your reading here, guys. Honestly, I would say go with the new. But, you know, you do what you do for you and what's best for you and your family, okay? Always, always, always. Um, I do see an increase, a increase here in finances for you guys as well, too. And I do also see um, some opportunities coming through for some of you guys as well, too. So it looks good. Read over your fine print. All right. So regardless of what it is and, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, do your research always. Um, again, it's been a pleasure. You guys can definitely like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, whose loss was it really, Scorpios? Was it theirs or was it yours? Honestly, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, but regardless, you know, it's always good to chit chat with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, definitely click the bell that way you guys can get notified when I post your readings and or go live on this channel again check the um, uh, what is it it's called like the content page or something like that uh, uh, on, on the other side go over a few boxes on my channel and you'll see uh, the segment for Wednesday with um, my spiritual sister again Yolanda I love her so much I'm super nervous and super excited at the same damn time I'm not going to lie to you guys. So um, I'll be special appearing on the podcast there with her. Um, and her channel is, uh, I'm sorry, Evolving Spirit Wellness, okay, here on YouTube. I had a brain fart there. Uh, Evolving Spirit Wellness here on YouTube. So definitely be sure to go over and subscribe to her channel. She puts out very, very, very good content for you guys as well. Um, so check her out. Um, she's phenomenal. I'm super excited again and super nervous. But at the same time, guys, thanks so much for being here. I'll post up um, a couple readings here from, you know, the last few readings for Scorpio. I would also give you guys some food porn to check out as well, too, on the page. But take care, stay safe, and be blessed.